Good morning! Welcome back to Kids Time. I'm so happy to be back in the playground with you. I hope you can just close your eyes and imagine that you're right here up front with me. I'm Rebecca, the Children, Youth, and Family Director here at St. Paul Lutheran Church, and it's so great to be together again today. And I'm especially excited this week because we have another parable about seeds and soil and growing things. Can you believe that? Three weeks in a row. So, it's been great to learn how the natural world can teach us so much about God and, and how God works in the world. So let's get growing. I mean, going. Now, before we start talking about our Bible story this week, let's remember a few things. First of all, I said that this story this week is another parable. So can you help me remember what a parable is? We've talked about it for the last two weeks, so maybe you're getting really good at it now. But help me remember, what's a parable? Hmm. Oh yeah, a parable is a story that Jesus tells that teaches us something. And so the next thing that we should remember is what the last two parables we talked about were. So two weeks ago, we talked about a parable that was about each person being kind of like a big yard. We all have different soils inside of us. We have rocky soil and weedy soil and paths where things don't grow super well. But we also learned from Jesus that Inside each one of us is good soil, where God's love can grow and grow and grow. And then last week, we learned that all kinds of different things can grow inside of us. The good stuff can grow inside of us, like love and kindness. And the not-so-good stuff can grow in there, too, like anger and greed. And all of these good things and bad things, all of their roots kind of get tangled together and they're really hard to separate. But we learned in our parable last week that God promises that only the good stuff that God planted will grow forever. Well, and now we've talked about soil and roots, so this week we're going to move on to seeds. In the story that Jesus tells this week, he says that heaven is kind of like a mustard seed. Now, if you're like me, the only thing I know about mustard is that you put it on burgers and hot dogs. But actually, I did some research, and there's a whole plant called mustard. And it's not just an ordinary plant. It's a bush. But it's not just an ordinary bush. It's a monster bush. Mustard plants grow and grow and grow. And once you've got one, you've got a bunch because they spread everywhere. In fact, they're kind of annoying if you didn't mean to plant them. I mean, you plant one and all of a sudden your garden is just mustard plant after mustard plant after mustard plant. And these massive plants grow from just the teeny, tiniest of seeds. It only takes one little patch of good soil and one teeny, tiny mustard seed to create a massive patch of mustard plants. So Jesus said in this parable that heaven is like those mustard plants. And if you watched the Summer Activity Club video from last week, you'll remember that we talked about heaven being the end of the world as we know it. We can imagine heaven in all kinds of different ways, but the one thing we know for certain is that everything is going to be changed for the better. So, what Jesus is really saying in this parable 
is that a whole new amazing world, heaven, comes from the simplest and tiniest things like mustard seeds. And that when those simple, tiny things like mustard seeds find a good place to grow, like, I don't know, the good soil in our hearts, they grow and grow and grow and they'll even go, they'll take over. So what simple and tiny things can change the world for the better? Can you brainstorm some with me? Hmm. What about little ways of showing love? Smiling at someone when you're on a walk? Sending a letter to a grandparent or a friend? Saying thank you to the cashier at the grocery store? Wearing a mask to help keep everyone healthy? All of these little tiny ways of showing love get planted in us and in other people. And they start to grow and grow and grow like the mustard seed. And that is how we can bring little glimpses of heaven to earth. And maybe, just maybe, we can change the world with Jesus' help. You know, you all are so amazing. You make me want to share those little seeds of love and plant them in other people so that we can grow and grow and grow good things that God plants in us. Well, thank you so much for watching Kids Time this week. And don't forget that the Summer Activity Club is still going strong. So be sure to check it out on the St. Paul website or the St. Paul app sometime this week. And I'll see you right here next week. Bye, friends.